This video will teach you how to construct a basic upper body pull workout using dumbbells. To put together an upper body pull workout, you should include one horizontal pull pattern and one vertical pull pattern movement to stimulate the pull musculature of the back muscle group, biceps and rear delts. However, vertical pull movements are very limited in selection for dumbbell movements, so for the purpose of this workout, we will select two horizontal pull movements. A shoulder movement to stimulate the rear delts and traps and one to two bicep isolation exercises depending on your needs to meet your volume requirements for growth. In this workout, we will include only one. To set up a straight set workout, we need to consider a repetition target within the hypertrophy rep range. For more on this, check out our video guide on building an upper body dumbbell workout. For the purpose of this workout and a good recommendation for beginner and intermediate trainees, we will keep the repetition steady at 10 for compound multi-joint movements and between 12 and 14 for isolation single joint movements. Perform three sets of 10 repetitions of each exercise with about two minutes rest in between each set for the compound movements. You could probably get away with less rest for the isolation exercises as there are less systems to worry about recovering. A good starting point would be about one minute rest between sets. The structure of the workout should be as follows. Three sets of 10 repetitions of a horizontal pull movement, for example, a dumbbell seal row. Three sets of 10 reps of another horizontal pull movement, for example, a dumbbell single arm row, performed 10 reps each side. However, if you are not limited to just dumbbell movements, this movement would be ideally a vertical pull movement like a pull up. Three sets of 10 reps of a shoulder movement, for example, a dumbbell rear fly. And finally, three sets of 12 reps of a bicep isolation exercise, for example, a bicep curl. Performing the pull movements back to back should stimulate more of a growth effect due to the buildup of metabolites from the preceding exercise, without much chance of fatigue levels affecting the rest of the workout. And there you have it. Performing this workout two times per week will be enough for progression and positive adaptation, increasing the load, weight used as you improve. It would be ideal to couple this workout with a lower body workout and a push workout. Performing the lower body workout day one, the push workout day two, and the pull workout day three. For considerations to adapt the workout to changing circumstances, check out our video guide on how to construct a full body dumbbell workout. Happy training. For form guides and other movement ideas, check out the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons.